That's why it's a test stream. Unmute your mic. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, that no one can hear, uh, we're just going to take it easy. It's going to be, it's the first stream. It's going to be a test stream. So I'm going to need sort of input on uh, things like audio levels, game volume, my volume, syncing, all that lovely stuff. So for the most part, we're going to keep the game itself simple. Uh, it is Rimworld, for those of you who don't know. Um, we're just going to go with the standard crash landed scenario, three survivors, basic resources, and just jump in. Uh, we're going to go for Cassandra Classic, so the game will progressively get harder, but there'll be a bit of a challenge. I couldn't be bothered with rough, intense, or extreme. I'm here for a bit of fun. I'm not here to get murdered in the first five minutes. And um, we're going to randomly generate a panda seed, because why not? And we'll go for 100% of the world. It can take a long time. I know it can. So, uh, the base, there's no enemy, there's no funny story to this one. There's no uh, weird scenario that I'm generating. It's just RimWorld. It is modded. I do have quite a few mods installed, but there are a lot of quality of life mods, such as the uh, uh, job assignment tabs, uh, things like EDB prepare carefully, which is what you would use if you were actually generating a more custom based game uh, but again once the world is generated we're going to choose our first three colonists if people want uh, if people want their uh, people named after them if I'm making any sense um, then just say and we can rename some of the colonists after you I did not think it was going to take this long but uh, I see uh, Mike's a bit quiet. Not sure where or how I can fix that right now because uh, <laughs> it's at its maximum setting. So maybe I'll just speak a bit later. Um, so yeah, the reason that I'm deciding to live stream things such as RimWorld and eventually things like Dwarf Fortress is the fact that the new schedule on the channel doesn't give me the time to actually you know, create that content and upload it in a episodic fashion. So live stream two hours once a week. Get to play the games, create the content, and have a bit of fun. So, how do we rotate? So here's our world. Uh, I haven't really played RimWorld since the alpha, or actually it's gone into beta, technically alpha 18 or whatever you want to call it. And all the regions now have names, which I think is fantastic because face palm mountains, I like it. Uh, because RimWorld is very much a story-driven game and having all these things with random names being attached allows us to generate a more story rich um, experience so what type of site do we want i know when the, the most recent one they added swamps and all that lovely stuff but eh, do i want to do that and they added diseases i haven't dealt with any of that nonsense either Ooh, it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun um, okay, uh, let's, I want some mightness, I want temperate, I want year-round growing, um, this is near a peaceful settlement, some bandits nearby, quite a few bandits nearby, which will also allow us to maybe explore the mechanics of putting together a caravan and sending some people out to attack some of these locations, which could be fun. Never done that, um, in reward, just simply because never got around to it. So, uh, I have to I have to settle in face palm mountains. So let's take a look at the terrain. Year round growing. Mightness. Do I want mightness or do I want hills? Uh, small hills. Small hills. Large hills. That's what I want. Year round growing. Decent temperatures throughout the year. Average of two diseases per year. I think I can work with that. Um, so let's jump into this screen. Okay, we could hit prepare carefully and really micromanage the stats that our people get, but not for doing that. I'm just going to make sure they don't have any diseases or missing body parts, and that they are, you know, not incapable of anything. Just a standard, um, standard list. So this guy, uh, Stoven, he's 16. Old oh, gunshot wound. Oh, he's got an old gunshot wound at 16 years old. Uh, 
Uh, Charles is incapable of a bunch of things, so you can go to hell. Uh, you've got torso, scratch. I'm actually only looking at the health. Right, no injuries. Incapable of intellectual and crafting. But passion for construction, cooking, and social. Age 20. That's not bad. So, again, I might flip around depending on who else we get here. Um, no injuries, but incapable of violent, caring, and social. No injuries, incapable of hauling. I'm not taking anyone who's incapable of hauling. That's just stupid. Incapable of hauling. It's not that you're incapable of hauling. You're just lazy. Ooh. I'll JP here. Uh, incapable of nothing. Uh, massive passion for shooting and level 8 at that. Good double passion for social. Good at growing, mining, and cooking, and with a small passion for each. He's definitely staying in. Uh, so you're incapable of violent. Uh, health threat. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, it's one of the people we're leaving behind. Anyway. So you're incapable of nothing. Not too bad. You're 16. You're psychically dull, which is good. Super immune, which is fantastic. Trigger happy, not so good. But you know what? I'm getting bored at this. Trigger happy, wimp, psychopath. We're going to randomize you a few times because I think we can do better, to be fair. And I may have accidentally skipped somebody decent there. Brawler, greedy, no. Uh, nervous, jogger, hard worker, 17. There we go. Erst, JP, and Victor are our starting colonists. So let's jump in. And you'll see now why the camera is a bit of a funny position. Um, I was messing about with it earlier and didn't know where to really place it. So I wanted to keep this bottom bar available and this menu and most of the things on screen that you can see it. So anyway, uh, the three of you wake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens ripping metal. You barely get to, get to the escape pause before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, later you land on an unknown rim world. I have lost the ability to read and speak today. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. And away we go. So we will uh, pause straight away and take a wee look around. Not a lot of mountains, no water, but then we didn't land anywhere near water. Uh, hmm. It'll be interesting to see if this gives off any warnings, because if not, it is pretty central. You could wall off here and here. Be a decent base, gives you a bit of mountains to sort of settle into. Any geysers near this one for future power generation? Uh, not that I... There's one there. It'll be right inside the base as well. Um, I meant to pause. Anyway, um, Victor, who was our... Who was our good shooter? You shall get the... Rifle. Victor, you're four, you're five, you get the pistol. And Victor gets the knife. Okay, do we have the architect zone area? Orders. I'm pretty yeah. unforbid everything. So that's one of the mods as uh, the ability to unforbid everything across the map so our colonists will eventually go out and grab the stuff when needed. There's a bunch of wildlife here. I mean a complete bunch of it so we should be able to maintain our food supplies quite easily. Resource wise not too sure we have some steel here. Oh, compact machinery. Compact machinery. Machinery. Silver. Back to steel. Steel, steel, steel. Is that that's steel as well? Um hmm. See, I'm thinking we settle over here. So first things first, let's uh pause they grab their weapons. Yeah, need colonist beds, well aware of that. Uh you're gonna be drafted and move over here. Um Architect zone area is what I'm looking for. Stockpile for now. We shan't have a stockpile here because we can roof this. You can accept everything. 
Um, dumping stockpile. Uh, there. And yeah, let's just fast forward to get JP over here to have a wee look at whether or not we can settle in this. No problems. We are undrafted. Let's uh, deconstruct. But actually, before we do that, claim all of that, please. So somebody deconstruct, that'd be great. And we also want to uh, build roof area there to cover our stockpile. Done and done. If somebody would, there we go. Good man, JP. We get a wee notification that we discovered somewhere. Done and done. Let's pause. Um, structure, wall, wood, door, done, furniture, sleeping spot, three sleeping spots, uh, should we put down the animal sleeping spot, does the animal have a name, Yuma, Yuma the female Yorkshire Terrier, which is probably the most useful, useless <laughs> dog in the game due to the fact that it can't really haul or anything, uh, yeah it's incapable of rescue and hauling, it's just there for show, basically. So, we want to assign a few jobs. Let's chop this and all of that. We will also want to harvest any. Ooh, there's nothing available here. Well, that's fun. Um, let's get a growing stockpile. Uh, five by fives will do the job for now. I'm lining all these up right because I will freak out if not. All right, it's probably a bit many, but it'll do. So potatoes can go there. Potatoes can go there. This one, uh, let's go for uh, heel root. Yes, we do have someone of level eight. Fantastic. Um, let's go. I'll go corn on that one. Strawberries there, because you want something that people can eat uh, without having to process it, cook it, blah blah blah, so they don't get the eating raw food debuff. And what other one shall we go for? I go some rice. Sure, why not? I am tempted, to be honest. A little growing zone eventually long here, too wide or something. That uh, is just for smokables. So, manual priorities. Uh, you, good sir. Everyone is going to be one firefighting. Or one doctor is skill four, zero. <laughs> Did not check that out too well. Um, so, I want the doctor to doctor before being a patient so that's why we switched that around bed rest uh, you can get two of the bed rest doctor before hall plus that's a mod which means we can manually prioritize certain items to be hauled everyone can flick uh, warden yeah you've got double passion of four you can do it at a two handle we don't care about right now cook you're the highest cook at four so you're one Three for you, you don't go anywhere near cooking. Definitely your hunter. Cook second. Hunt first, then then cook. Okay. Uh construct. Is he your best constructor as well? Hmm. You can just have a token. F you build things you've designated and fix blah 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 warning. It's very low. That's fine. Everybody grow. 
You can be definitely you know, mine. Everybody mine at the start. Plan cut, yes. Everybody plan cut. Don't care about the rest of these at the moment. Hall is definitely Whoops. Ah a priority for everyone. Clean uh, is a two for everyone until it's an issue. I think that we're gonna have to do some tweaking around here because as usual in RimWorld, uh, we have someone who's the best at everything um, being the main skills of hunting. Uh, who has the... It's Victor has the knife. Yeah, we need this guy out hunting, so that's just, that's just that. Okay, so where is the restrict? We want to... Whoops, anything at this time. This is uh, setting up their sleep schedule. Uh, the game automatically defaults that there's like eight solid hours blocked for sleeping, which is unnecessary. And uh, we don't have any night owls, so everyone can go to sleep at night. And we're just going to tell them you definitely have to sleep from this time onwards. And then they'll just wake up whenever they're ready, which most of the time is less than eight hours. So we get the initial farming set up. Which will give us a bunch of wood because there's a bunch of trees under the uh, under the farm plots, and yeah, we'll see where we go from there. I'm thinking we'll probably wall off the rest of the section pretty quickly, and then even this out as well. Um, to so much to the extent where I shall plan that. So if we essentially if we mine out that and then we will probably build out along here yeah I think that'll work so everyone's going to go to sleep shortly and at some point we're going to get prompted to name the colony I have no idea uh, what I'm going to name it uh, probably something stupid or I'll spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to decide an awesome name uh, that's just the way it is. I normally do struggle to... Why are you sleeping outside? You... No, you're not. You're just... Just lying down. So they're not going to enjoy this. This is a bit too cosy. Um, they would complain of... Disturbed sleep, slept on the ground... Uh, blah, blah, blah. But we have the early game optimism, which will balance out a lot of those bad feelings. And... Yeah. I, I, I usually play on a map that's a bit more mountainous than this, so I'm actually... Yeah, that's a wee bit of judderiness. Um, that is not good. But anyway, back to work. So we have some potatoes growing with some wood out and about, so we can probably... Uh, structure, wall... Let's get that. Pause whilst I plan this. And we're going to want probably a door at this end and this end. And we're mm, I'm just thinking of getting a kitchen and food storage set up as quickly as possible. So we're going to actually mine all that out. Did I miss a spot? There we go. That'll do it. Okay, everybody shouldn't be... Uh, I do have growing as... Uh, let's get you as two in growing so you go mine. Good man. These are best miners as well. Seven with a passion. Four with no passion. Zero with no passion. So that's going to be fun. Safe to say it won't be a permanent summer. I did not know that was a thing. <coughs> well, there you go. So most of the farming is sorted. It's very important to get the healer route on the go. Are you decaying by any chance? No, I think you're classified as inside because you're under a wall. Did we just go straight from compacts? Machinery and the compact steel. That's nice. 
So due to the fact that everybody was mining there, means that we are... Uh, somebody has to be a constant. Right, you're going to be a constant. Uh, you're doing everything. If you're one, you're two. Definitely one cooking. Okay. You'll eventually proof all this. I'm not sure I have the... There's another work mod that you can install where you can very much micromanage the the jobs. It breaks my, or breaks construction into its constituent parts such as bring resources to a location where something needs to be built and then the actual constructing of it because part of the problem is if you say our JP here is constructing something um, he'll have to go get the supplies needed to construct whatever it is he's about to construct and then he also needs to then construct it where if we broke the jobs down we could have Victor here as level one uh, go and grab stuff and bring it to where it needs to be but turn off his ability to actually construct things because he'd make something that's shit. This isn't the most critical task right now but I'm letting them complete it. Ah, oh, Vector, would you take your time? Sure, why not? <laughs> Thanks, Connor. <laughs> I know this the, the mic's quiet, but um, I'll take a wee look during the break uh, at adjusting it, but at the minute it's at its max level and I'm not sure what I can do about it at the moment. So, again, First stream, test stream, gonna see what the kinks are and work them out. And, you know, it'll get better and better as it goes ahead. But yeah, I can understand it's probably a bit quiet. Um, but again, in Steam, uh, Mike is, or not Steam, but uh, move my face a tiny bit forward. <laughs> Can't go any further forward, lad. <laughs> um, I'm right in the mic now, is that better? Ah, but you know I can't, <laughs> I can't sit playing like that all night. Uh, but again, I'll take a look at it during the break and see what the crack is. Oh, we have a visitor. This person, um, who looks like a hobo. Um, Minoka is a keeper, male warrior of the purple grouse in Sereno, age twenty nine. He has some stuff we can trade with. Who is our warden person? Job, uh, that would be Victor. Fantastic name. Um. <laughs> uh, trade with this guy, see what we has. Uh, Pemmican, don't want your weird meat. Uh, herbal medicine. Uh, eh, there's nothing we want. Okay, cancel. Uh, are you worth... Uh, ooh, you're volatile, but you're night oil. Fast walker, good at crafting intellectual. Melee social animals, you might be worth, hmm, I don't think I have the hospitality mod. God damn it. So the only way we could recruit him is basically take him prisoner and then try and something with him. Convince him to like join the dark side. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, right, he can sit and do what he wants. What am I looking to do next? I do want to get some sort of power generation on the go. Get some token uh, power stored in batteries. We do have some steel, don't we? Uh, well, that's food, 26 meals. We have lots of that stuff. Yeah. We have 192 steel with steel that we can mine out easily enough. Uh, I'm looking for par. So I'm thinking that's dangerous, but I'm thinking if we build a wind turbine here, solar panel there and there, 
fire conduits into here and we'll have some batteries oops uh, no not production power please battery uh, where is the white ah oh, cunies and that should do it done so hopefully that'll get done um, in the next day whenever JP's up but yeah colony whatever the unnamed colony is going smoothly at the moment we will probably have our first uh, colonists join us soon and we'll probably have our first invader soon mm, I'm thinking I know shouldn't be doing that it's dangerous but if we say do this that's one two three four five you know what you're getting three by three rooms well, three wide anyway. Done. One, two, three. This one will get uh, widened. Uh, so you'll get. Will that work? It will work. I'm amazing. Don't build that. We have to dig uh, orders. Whoa, okay. JP thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? And then we can get to something something with the something something. I.e. name the local community. So, your faction should be called... I have no goddamn idea. That's not the name, by the way. Um... This is the kind of thing I spend. I could literally, if I was playing this, not live streaming, not recording for YouTube, it's something I would sit down, spend 20, 30 minutes thinking about. I'd end up googling shit, um, because I don't know. It's just like I'm going to be playing as these guys for a foreseeable amount of time. I don't want their name to be shit. It's not an unreasonable position to take. Um, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, JP also thinks you should give this community a name. Um, hmm. I'm stuck. Right. What do I normally call stuff? I usually name it after Star Trek or something nerdy like that. So, uh, the community name shall be. Uh, I can't see the keyboard behind my mic. Garrixville. And the faction shall be. Ugh. Um. Right. Hmm. Oh, I'm in Face Palm Mountains. Um. Aha. Face. Face Palmians. That's the one. And yeah, I'm still going to go with Garrixville. So there we go. The Vespalians. And this community is known as Garrixville. So, wake up and do some shit. That'd be great. Good. Right. Let's uh, deconstruct that. Uh, we're also going to want to... Uh, ground wall deconstruct. Uh, let's deconstruct that stuff. Don't... Uh. So that's going to end up being three wide. Yeah, so the door will be there. Your door will be there. Um, structure, door, boom, boom. This will all make sense eventually. So there's the power being put down. So we will have a windmill soon. Wind power. Didn't get a subsidy to build it. We just took our own initiative and did it. Um, minor break risk. First, because Connor, you were annoying me earlier, and since Erst is uh, the first person to piss me off, this person is. Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing: it's a little, little uh, behind-the-scenes look. I would use your whole name of Connor XD, and you know. 
which you know is your is your tag. But I'm just gonna go with Connor. Because my X button doesn't work, so <laughs> there you go. And I see Yes horses joined us and hey Tom <laughs> So, just going to go with the 3x3 three three bedrooms to start with, and yeah, take it from there. Somebody's cleaning, which means they have fuck all to do. Are we out of... Are we really out of steel? We have a mad animal. Uh, let's pause, please. So, if we're out of steel already, let's mine that, since it's close by. And probably mark flag that as well. Should probably grab. Uh, it's not a priority right now. Cancel that. Uh, so where's the bad animal? Jump to location. Yeah, it's a tortoise. Uh, okay. See, it's not really a big scary thing, to be fair. The issue is people are stupid in this game. You can very easily die to a tortoise. Where is the other tit, Victor? Are, why? Ah, oh, you're stuck. Come on, tortoise. I know you're slow, but hurry up. Kill him. Kill it. Murder its face. Today? There we go. Right, JP, I want you to... Uh... Really? Prioritize deconstructing. And. Ugh. Vector, you're so shit and slow at everything. It's ridiculous. Could you take any longer, Connor? I mean, seriously. Probably going to have a good chunk of compacted steel there. Another night in the rough, but from this point onwards, I'm thinking we might be able to uh, get some beds on the go. Because we do have another person joining us shortly. And we also want to fire down a wood floor, which will have to be patched up, because everything's going to get butchered here. Okay, we are on the 5th of April, May. Yep. I'm looking at the date down here. April, May. Uh, okay, meals. Haven't been paying attention to that. So it is going to be very important that we get some shit sorted out here. Right, I am going to zone... Um, been a long time since I played this game, and I am 100% going to use that as an excuse for any mistakes I make. Uh, I want to get production. We can go with a fuel stove for now. Uh, you can go there. Uh, you won't be outdoors for long. We want to get a butcher's table. There we go. Temporarily install them there. Temporarily stick them there until I have a kitchen area set up. Which, you know, I wish was sooner rather than later. Actually, you know what? There's no point doing the... Uh, actually, I will. Hurry up and finish stuff. What are you doing? There we go. Are you getting charged? Yes. Thank you. We are going to want to... I'm not going to expand anymore. You know what? You can uh, cancel those orders. Cancel those as well. Because I need you just to do the shit that I've already assigned. Because that's more important. Why is there a gap there? Ah, it's a wall that just hasn't been built. Come on. 
so with two beds being assigned or um built i should say i can deconstruct two of these sleeping spots so it'll force two of our colonists to actually sleep in these uh, low food i am aware and yet seem to be doing nothing about it <laughs> um we'll set up a forever bill to butcher creatures uh do forever and let's actually just butcher a few orders hunt is there anything nearby that's worth hunting no not in there a few of those and then we'll set up a few uh simple meals once the kitchen is you know done oh you're butchering the tortoise how about you build the fucking no you're not getting to eat prioritize that yes see that's not difficult is it just do your damn jobs now you know what you're going to do now jp you're going to actually refuel the damn thing there we go now bills add bill uh, cook simple meal do until you have i'm going to details do until you have had 35 men cooking skill anybody lower than two can go away and who is our primary cook that is jp i think it's important that we start having some token meals about they won't last forever i'm not going to go mad and have a massive setup straight away simply because we don't have our storage setup what am i doing Get, cancel that piece of shit i am going to just do this uh that'll eventually move so if we just build out this way so it'll be 11 wide um, do that. Uh, do that. That's uh, appropriately in the middle. I think. So it's one, two, three, four, five. That's a good tree. Uh, we're going to want door, door. Are you serious? can't even use half that terrain it's okay it's okay I don't mind it's it's fine right what I'm doing is creating an airlock system this is gonna bug the shit out of me uh, we're gonna want to build a wall there you can <laughs> okay it's okay it really is okay <laughs> fucking pisses me off that shit if I want to build there I should be able to build there let's cancel that no cancel 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 you cancel all you for now right so we can build along here yes okay so um door door pardon me do you want to do this oh yes but i'm going to line it up actually so that the doesn't drive me completely batty. Uh, right here we shall have. No, not deconstruct, cancel. There. Let's get power conduit through the walls to here. And in here we shall actually have a cooler. Cold side going in done so that'll be your primary food storage and all that lovely stuff we can probably build a token 
room somewhere to actually do the cooking in. And that means there's a short trip for where they harvest stuff to take it inside and it can all get frozen and all that lovely stuff. And once that's set up we can remove the food from the stockpile and ensure that all the perishable stuff is stored in our big cool box. That's the plan anyway. Whether or not it works out like that is an entirely different thing. Because Rhythm World has a habit of going, you know what mate? All those plans you had, not anymore. But that's why I've chosen like a moderate difficulty. Uh, it's a Cassandra Classic, which is your, it's in the name, classic uh, Rhythm World playthrough where things progressively get more difficult. Um, Randy Random is one where you can get attacked by mechs, which are the strongest enemies in the game, um, in the first five minutes, or you might never see them. It is literally random. Uh, Phoebe Chillax is, again, pretty self-explanatory. It is chillaxed. Uh, it's very relaxed. Um, there is still danger, but it comes once in the blue moon, and even then, you don't really have to worry about it. So, we're, we're literally playing on probably the most moderate of moderate uh, difficulties. So, there will be some challenge at some point, but we aren't uh, going to completely freak out unless I do something stupid. Which is a, entirely a possibility. So, the first of our potato harvests. Is that potato? No, that's not potato. That's rice. That's, I was thinking that was funny looking potatoes. Why aren't you doing your sh oh, you're cooking this way? We do need to cook. But we also need to construct stuff. Uh, Connor, construct. And here's our first raid. It should just be the one person. A group of pirates from the Executioner Partners has have arrived nearby. Uh, they will prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare defense or attack them preemptively. So we've got Maddie here. Um, he's a barkeep, you know, by day, uh, invader by night. It's not day, shut up. Uh, meal drifter from the Executioner Partners, age 22, equipped with an auto pistol. Uh, he doesn't seem to have any armor, he just has some pants. Will he be worth, he's too smart, which can add to them breaking. Uh, psychically dull, so it's not too bad. And six melee, six social with small passion. If he was easy to recruit, then he might be a bad shout. But he's going to prepare for a while, so we can still go on about our thing. Until... Uh, are you really not calling them in? I mean, that's... Connor? Connor? Where are you going? You really went... Oh. Who am I to say? And they're beginning their assault. Everyone recruit. So, where do we want to set up defenses? He's going to come from this direction. Um, To be honest, these rocks, again, is, are, is, are a good spot. He does have an auto pistol, so Connor, you might want to move. Why are you want clicking here? Would it think I'm trying to click the plant? That's just stupid. Maddie, there's no armor. Are you? What are you shooting? You're shooting the dog? That seems a tad harsh. Does he have a mustache? And he's down. So, uh, we can. On draft, Victor, who has a knife, can come grab the pistol. Connor, you can go uh, strip Matthew. I know you'd enjoy that. Um, and let's see now. Health ways. He didn't lose any body parts, just got some pain. So, with that in mind, Victor is going to be going without a bed tonight. Which, you know, sucks for him. Because uh, we're going to put a prisoner in here. JP, you know what?
Cooking could be a two. Constructing could be a one. Because we just need stuff constructed. That's just as simple as that. Because you can make as many meals as you want. If we don't have anywhere to store them or none of these fucking rooms get finished, then... What's the point? Look, Connor, you're still awake. Capture Matthew. Right, now let's see what his chance of recruitment is. Difficulty is that... Okay, we can give him normal medicine. We can chat and recruit, and away we go. Eat a meal. No longer capable of walking. Fantastic. Minor break risk at Connor again, because you're a dick. Absolute dick. If you would finish the stuff, uh, hold on, actually, before I start bitching at you too much, what we're going to do is furniture temporarily going to put up a sleeping spot there. Going to furniture, no, structure. It's been so long since I played this, I forget where all the buttons are. Goddamn autosave. Right. Finish doing stuff. So we have JP now priority constructing, so things should come along a wee bit faster. I am worried that we might be missing a bit of steel, but... You failed. You fucking failed. And wasted resources. I swear to God, lad, if we don't have enough fucking steel now. JP. You know what? No. Let's uh, prioritize that. And we need to deconstruct that. So that's just going to slow people down. Connor, you're terrible. I mean, absolutely terrible. Let's uh, deconstruct that. Fine. You don't need a bed. There's one right there. You can sleep on the floor. Um, so then we can wall that off. New recruit. Yay. Let's not have that for prisoners. Matthew is now going to complain about having no clothes. Why did you turn up naked? Don't blame me for your problems. Oh, we have a party. Who the hell is... I mean, I'm glad for the positive moodlet, but we've got shit to be done. You're going to go around partying? I don't know. How is everyone doing this evening? Yes, horse is asking. If you if you actually care about how I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's a fucking Tuesday. Like, I mean, most of the week's left. That sucks. I am sick and tired of he's not doing what I want you to do. Choosing a weird order in which to do things. Yes, construct that, finally. So now we can set the temperature in this to target, let's say, a minus five. Or minus, yeah, minus five. So we are now going to grab a zone area, stockpile. Uh, don't want to stockpile the entire thing. As in, I don't want the stockpile to leak out of the doors. You are going to uh, clear all priority critical. So if there's space and they need to store something, they will choose this stockpile over everything else. So we're going to allow all food. Um, raw resources, probably grab plant matter, uh, corpses, animal corpses, and that should be enough for now. You haul urgently. This stockpile can not allow food, not allow animal corpses. Oh, no, not allow. And that should be fine. Low food, unhappy nudity. Bloody... Vector's the one that's... Fair enough. So, indoors 9 degrees. Why are you wearing worms outside? Are you really going to need a second cooler? 
Huh. Okay. I mean, it could double the walls because there is a uh, temperature leak each three walls. So, but instead of doing that, because double walls look like ass, I am going to build a second cooler. Inspiration. This is new. JP Settler has just been inspired by what I don't know. Um, he will work two and a half times faster for the next twenty-four hours, even when sleeping. Which is impressive, to say the least. Yeah, go on, JP. Do shit. Hurry up. You better have enough supplies. Can't, is it worth saving these guys' haul urgently? Before they rot. Which would be great. Okay, that's them saved. And once that's done, we're going to get him straight back onto the mills because we're running ridiculously low. It's crazy. Um, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, pack of meat rotted away. Uh, I am going to build an electric stove. Temporarily indoors. Press the right button. I know it's going to be cold, but shush. Is that actually considered outdoors? Is that not being roofed? Ah, maybe because that's open. And let's go to zone area, build roof area. Yeah, it has been roofed. Oh, it hasn't been completely roofed. Because we keep exposing some of it. Connor, I swear to God, you feel this. You're lucky. Victor, why are you mining at all? Nope, not manager, not yet. Mining, mining, mining. Victor. Oh, we haven't assigned your man here to new jobs. So he's actually a seven, so he's going straight to mining. JP can come down, you can come down. So you're primarily going to mine, construct after that. JP's got a skill of four, so you can go down to three, two, one. Uh, one, one. You can actually doctor. So you're going to doctor second if we need it. Um, plant cut. Yes. Math you can mine. Can't grow for shit. But we'll put a two on that. So what the hell can Victor do now? He can haul clean. He is pretty shit to be fair. Like He does have a weapon. So if we put him in hunting... Take your hunting down. That's Connor. Connor can hunt if he wants. Take your hunting down. Put your cooking up. So we have a dedicated grower. Dedicated cook. Dedicated miner. Dedicated hunter. Done. Do we have a dedicated constructor? That's actually important. We do have a couple of people with it as a priority, like Connor. I can't believe I'm letting Connor construct stuff. <laughs> that is a fair point. Um, they all do have mustaches and they are pretty swank, so... I didn't notice that. Matthews is very impressive. Like, I mean, very impressive. And he's fully healed. Go, Matthew. Okay, so the meals should start improving soon. And we can improve the efficiency of stuff in a bit. This has all been uh, deconstruct. I know we need a bed. Be quiet. Furniture. Uh, already using furniture. Let's rotate you. And get a door on that. And yeah, I think this might be a decent place to leave off for the break so I can take a look at some of the audio issues and all that lovely stuff. So yeah, um, I shall be back shortly.
and I'm back and hopefully the volume's a bit better this time. Did some magic in the background, didn't need anybody's help. So, and there's my lovely space background and back into the game. So, we've got our freezer up and going. We've got some token meals being made, we have stuff being grown, harvests ready to, to be done. And why hasn't all of our heal root been planted? Worry about that later. So what do I want to do and set up next? We'll probably want to move the butcher table in here as well. And I can't even manually move it. So, bills. A uh, bill, simple meal. I want to go into details. Do until you have 60. Two. We can deconstruct that. Or yeah. Yeah, deconstruct. Deconstruct and deconstruct. Get some of the materials back. Uh, we shall also fire down some chairs so that they aren't standing about, you know not on chairs. Uh, we probably also earmark, it's a shame that we have such a big chunk to, to mine out here and none of it is, you know, steel or silver or compact machinery or any of that useful stuff. Orders, mine, grab that as well and we'll keep going. So we do have some strawberries, uh, they're mowing through them super quick, but we're having another harvest of them shortly, so that should be fine. We should get some lights up and going pretty soon as well, because just to help people's mood in general. And to be fair, probably not a terrible idea to earmark some more chopping. And we've got this. Done. So, add bill, butcher creature, do forever. And speaking of butchering creatures, let's go back and hunt. I'm not a liar, Fatal Snail. I did it all by myself, and I'm a genius, and and I'm, I'm world renowned for solving audio problems. Um. So let's get a couple of those. Uh, we have a bunch of crashed ships uh, running around so that we running around. They're not running around. They're crashed ships. They're just sitting there um, But we have a bunch of them so that we can get some I don't want to grab you So we can get some compact machinery and La -di da Okay, so that's enough animals for now that should keep us going and then when we have oh Actually, bills. I want to change the setup here. Details. Uh, we'll minus the 25. Make it 30 simple meals. Add bill. Cook fine meal. Need cooking of 6. That's fine. Do forever. That's stupid. Do until you have 60. Minimum skill. Four. It can come second in the queue. I wouldn't normally make it number one, but for now, it is what it is. So everybody's got a little bed to sleep in, which will greatly improve their mood. Uh, we should probably set up a token. Is it a crafting spot where you can... I don't really care where it's put right now. I just want to see if we can craft... Make tribal wear. Do four times. Tribal headdress. Four times. And short bow. Four times. Do we have anybody that's on the whole crafting thing? Connor is our best crafter. Well, Matthew, if you have nothing else to do, you can craft. And JP is no longer inspired. That's terrible. Matthew, what are you doing? How about you actually prioritize crafting spot? Make yourself some clothes, buddy. So hopefully they're not terrible. Because if they're shoddy or poor or whatever, he's still going to 
complain like a little whiny bitch. Probably not far from, especially this stuff is like 93% grown. Uh, what are you doing? Can I force you to wear this? Now he's no longer nude, which is great. And there's some mad ass shooting going on. Victor here is trying to kill a turkey. Thank God there's unlimited bullets. You take your time there, buddy. It's not like people are potentially going to starve and run out of food or anything. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's power like two fully charged batteries. Solar panels and wind turbine are still going, but the wind turbine seems to be a little bit blocked. So you're going to... Ah, well, there's only one thing blocking it. Blocked by a tea tree. And is that it? Nope. What are you blocked by? If I could see... There we go. Let's chop that bastard down. Need a source of joy. Joy, joy, joy. Um, Horseshoes. A poker table. Hmm. That's new. It's either new to the game or new to this mod that I'm using. And... Yeah, it's probably worth considering... Mining this shit out so that I can actually use the space. And since we have that, we can remove the plants because they're ugly as fuck. And away we go. And then we shall plan to move that down to about there. Do I still have stuff designated? So the meat kind of slowly going up. Stuff is getting chopped. Yeah, can't really complain at the moment, which is nuance, because it's one of my favorite pastimes. Bunch of boomalopes over here, which I shall have to be careful of. It's a warm area, lots of wood, so if something catches fire, then I'm pretty much fucked. Speaking of wood, might be time. We do have a bunch of it now. We aren't building anything internally. So, just going to set up token defenses. Going to get you to come out this far. Just wall that off for now. And, to be fair, probably can't build there because of stupid water. Can we build a whole... No, let's have to go this far. Can't even do that. Hold on, then. We can go there. Cancel all that. I will amend this wall shortly. <laughs> hmm. Bunch of places I can't build because of stupid terrain. Um. Probably get, like... I don't know. Again, this is just to slow people down. Um, if I go to do anything, I'm not too concerned about doing the whole uh, kill box, kill zone thing. It's a bit boring. So, I shall go with just walling myself in temporarily. Got a bunch of land which to expand. We have mountains in which to move into. We have a geyser. And... Yeah, it should prove sufficient in the short term. I know I have low food. I'm sitting here refusing to... Oh, Victor. Ow! No! That's not good. You try and get back... You try and get back here. Everyone else... Uh, get over here... Ah, oh, Victor, are you going to die on me? To fucking glorified turkey? You dickhead, hey. 
I thought Connor was going to be our problem. Fuck sick. Shoot them. Right, get the other one. There we go. Right, pause. Like which one's his bed? Victor, you are going to be a medical bed. I know you need a damn thing. Uh, JP, you can rescue Victor. That shall be that. Um, Matthew, you can you uh, prioritize hauling the auto pistol? Connor, you may as well do something when you're here. Hauling that. Actually, Connor, can you... No, don't rescue the damn thing. Just haul that one. So now we see what issues Victor has. And JP and Connor have taken some damage as well, which is fantastic. Health. Right, so you got bruises, scratches, bruises, scratches. You are fine, JP. Probably the same. Bite. And a bite. He's will all live. He says with the utmost confidence. Still three degrees, that's because you're not actually helping. Yeah, go down to minus nine, sure, why not? That just seems crazy. Minus six. My colonists can't stand working in minus six conditions then. I don't want them. It's taking so long. But I want to utilize the space. Victor is up and running again, which is great. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. That's because you fucking made a farce of it. Uh, we do have... Again, I'm remembering things at like random points here. Matthew, you are actually... No, you're not the uh, night owl. It was somebody else. So, work. No, restrict. I want you to do anything. Um, but I want to stagger the joy here. So they get two hours of joy a day each. And yes, yeah, so there's only one person having joy at any one time. Normally they would take, you know, things into their own hands and go and have a bit of crack on their own. But sometimes you're going to have to go, you know what, lad? It's time for you to ha just chill out a wee bit. Go and throw horseshoes at a stick. Or eventually we'll set up some a chess table, so go play chess by yourself. Um, when we get graves, they'll go out and look at the graves because, you know, they're fascinating. Um, so I want to dig this out so I can put more rooms in here. And eventually I will build buildings out here and move general storage uh, <laughs> uh, from in here to you know a dedicated building and speaking of a dedicated building that's actually plan for that so we'll go for structure wall um so that'll be 11 wide so that's 10 wide 11 wide then that door boom and boom we'll eventually have storage there hunter lacks ranged weapon I already know. Get away. Can I? No, it's just telling me. That's it. Accept it. Food ways are up to 18 meals. We have some uh, raw food kicking about. Raw food being meat, not strawberries. Do we have like wildlife going eating our goddamn shit? Because that's just not on. Ooh, pardon me. Hmm. Connor is fully healed. Go, Connor. Yes. Build my stuff. Matthew's getting through this quite well, to be fair. Because in here we can have... Actually, I'm not even going to put rooms in here. I'll build a little separate, you know, extension out here. I'll use these walls, not just defense, but as the backs of buildings and little bits of areas but in here we'll have things like dining table um, dining table production stuff la di da di da 
But to that end, I am going to grab a power conduit. I'm going to run it all the way down the center. Let's go for... What am I looking for? Standing lamp. Uh, you can go there. You can go there. And that should be suffice for now. And then we'll also have table th two by four. I like that. Dining chair. War merchant from something something has something. Right. One, two, three, four. I know it's overkill. Fuck away off. Um, do I have the mod where I actually can determine the build quality? Whoops, build quality uh, has to be at least normal. Uh, normal. I wish you could just set a default. So they will not stop building, dismantling, building, dismantling until they reach a minimum quality of normal. And since people are going to be sitting on this at least once a day eating their food and all the lovely stuff I want them to at least not be on something crap holy shit right um who's our social dude it is Victor who's in a hospital where is it's Huntsman go trade with Huntsman I don't care if you're crippled uh, your negotiator Victor cannot talk properly because of poor health. This will affect trade prices. Okay. Uh, we could buy a few lynxes. We could sell Yuma. Hmm. Buy Yuma. That's not going to be a, a popular decision, but you're a useless dog and you eat shit. And you know what? I just don't have time for it. So, bye bye. Um. Could get rid of the plastic knife, but I'll keep hold of it. I'll get rid of the two bows. I was purely making the bows to sell. Get rid of the shoddy pants. And yeah, you don't really have much else that I want. Don't have any decent weapons. You do have some herbal meds. I'll grab a few I'll test There we go. We'll grab it. Because um, that's all because so you have a war veil two war veils which are pretty cheap but yeah. um, totally that will do oh Matthew take your time sure Connor's just plugging away like look at him do your thing lad What do you want to move on to next? You're probably going to finish that wall. Or place that stuff. Which I have absolutely no problem with. And now what are you doing? You was just standing there for a minute. You feel construction. There we go. Some lightage. We'll eventually floor this as well. Before now. Who is, do we not have anybody on? Grow. Everybody's on. Like we have Connor is a one on. Maybe a bit busy. Let's hunt the three. Construct two. Grow one. Who's our pest grower? No, let's put hunt two. Construct one. JP is it a one? Matthew, that can be a one. Sure, why not? So hopefully, soft stuff gets replanted or something. 17 meals, some raw food, not enough raw food to make any meals, 19 components left, but a bunch that we can mine out, 21 meds, and not a lot of steel in storage. It is what it is. Oh, this is why I want a night out, so something's happening at night. I think maybe ahead of the next stream I will install the hospitality mode and I hope that doesn't impact. Do you like have like... What is going on? 
Um, like an inability to grow or something. Growing zone, 80% fertile. Well, that's all 100%, 140% fertile. So just stop failing at the harvest, Matthew. I know he's got skill zero. But I want some food to survive. That'd be great. Connor is trying to build stuff. But until we get somebody else that we can spare to do the harvesting and all that lovely stuff, we're just going to have to take the losses with what Matthew has here and balance that out with a spot of hunting from time to time. Speaking of hunting, let's uh, line some of that up. Uh, we still have that, which I'm going to mark to haul urgently before it rots completely. And Victor, wherever you are, come and equip your auto pistol again. And go do some hunting. I wish you could set it so that once they killed an animal, they auto hauled it to storage. It would make things so much easier and simpler in the long run. But no, why would you do that? Like, I mean, actually, just give up. It's like, ah, you know, I've shot this guy 40 times. He didn't die, but I shot him a couple times. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to go play horseshoes. No, you're not. You're going to take medicine inside. Dick. See, this guy can't run away. He's inside, Victor. You can do this. There we go. Good man. Thumbs up to you. Uh, let's haul that. Haul. Haul. I want the stuff taken inside as quickly as possible. It is like 22 degrees outside. We need them taken inside. ASAP. And things are starting to balance out. Still early days. Um, but yeah. We are due another raid or something very soon. Very, very soon. And you just... Are you actually sleeping there? What? Ah... Whoops, that's not for prisoners, it's not medical either. You can you can have your bed back, Victor. Sorry about that. Sorry. Architect, floor, 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 floors, wood floor. You know what? This is gonna go crazy, but why are you auto saving? Stop it. I can't. Why? That seems a tad harsh. What is this? So what? Soil? Marshy soil. Ah. Well, there you go. A group of travelers from Oristia Humanitarian Treaty are passing by. Good for use. He is failing to pick strawberries. That's how bad he is. Uh, Matthew. Growing. He's up to two. Which, you know. He'll get there. I have all the faith. Refugee chased at Garricksville. A housemate named Valentine Split... Uh, Gorodkov calls you from nearby. He is being chased by pirates from the Executioner Partners. That's the guys that attacked us earlier. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he is 41 years old. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the pirates on his tail. Two reasons are two things are affecting my decision here. Uh, the first is that he's being chased by the people that have already attacked us, so I don't really have a lot of time for them, because they're dicks. Um, plus his name is Valentine Split Gorodkov. He has to join, so offer safety. Hey Split, 
and he's got a fucking impressive beard too and I just remembered why I have a stupid mod installed that uh, you're incapable of violence oh, you're a dick you actually look like a fucking hippie too um, <sighs> he's good at growing and constructing incapable of violence or intellectual so that is it is what it is he'll be grand he'll be grand uh, so let's let's take a wee bit of better look at him. Psychically dull, also very good. Neurotic, global work speed plus twenty percent. Make make a little blah 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 blah. Mental break threshold plus eight percent. Um, Split likes to have things squared away. He'll work harder than most to attain the state of affairs, but his nerves can get the better of him. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um. Okay, so. You are going to be there. Your joy can happen at this part of the day. So if you got anything else to do anyway. Workways. You can do that. That. You got five. So you can go down to three. You can be a two. Uh, two. Uh, you can be bread rest one. Hall plus yes. Flick yes. Don't know why you weren't. Um, six with a passion. Four with a passion, seven with a passion. So you can be two. No, split can't do anything. Uh, handle, don't care for that at the minute. Cook. Cooking of five. Five. So you can cook. Split the burden. You can construct. So you can go to a two. You can be a one. You can cook second. Grow one. You can definitely stop growing. Like forever. Like I don't want you ever growing anything ever again. Um... Plant cut, yes. Haul, yes. Clean, 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 clean. Hauling. Should have somebody the opposite way around. So split, you can be haul second but clean first. So that should then. Here's the raid of the pirates chasing him. A group of thrice people from the green caribou. Are you? S Now he was being chased by the pirate people that attacked me. And we have tribes people from the Green Caribou, Latra, who are attacking immediately. Which leads me to believe that there's a distinct possibility that a pirate raid following Split is going to coincide with a normal raid. So let's see what these people have. It's just one guy, Bren, Shortbow. He should be pretty okay to deal with. He's going to run into these guys. Maybe. Possibly. I'm not sure. Uh, I want to, before anything else is done, I'm going to set up um, an area. Uh, I'm just going to set up area 1, which is going to be just internal to the base. Um, safe from all bad shit that could ever ever grace this glorious planet and you know what, I want to actually cover the walls of this so that they can be repaired if needs be do that as well and that may as well do that as well okay so uh, restrict Split, since you're incapable of violence, you're going to be restricted to area one. Okay, and there's the... <laughs> the pirates. Okay. Um, everybody else? Draft? Uh, this is not a, not, a, not a terrifying situation to deal with right now, but... <coughs> it's just awkward. Um, if we bring everybody out here, where are you going, you mad bastards? You're going all the way. Are you fucking serious? You're going around too. Uh, okay. So these are going to converge. 
Shoot him already. Or at least hit him. Be great. Oh, and he's got cover. Matthew, you have a weapon, don't you? I want you to move over here. Because the longer we take dealing with this guy... Don't hit Matthew. Don't hit Matthew. Don't hit Matthew. You're hitting Matthew. Don't shoot him in the back of the head, please. <laughs> I'm terrified. Luckily they're hitting the uh oh, where are these other two fucking idiots now? What Oh did you you just ran into these guys? Fantastic That is fantastic And we beat the shit out of that guy. Okay. Um Everybody on draft Matthew, you can strip uh, you can. Ooh. Um, whoop, stop. Can you equip sharp bow? That would be fantastic. And then I want you to. That'll be fine, actually. Now, this guy left behind not a lot. So we'll unforbid that. Unforbid that. And someone who isn't half dead. JP, you can come out and strip. Uh, Connor, I will get you to do something very, very quickly. Um, let's actually build some graves. And for now, we're just going to put them along here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Connor, you can prioritize working on the graves. No, no, don't even think about it. Right, JP, JP, JP. Um, right. Prioritize hauling silver. Are you? No, it's the rabbit that's alive. Okay. So you're going to be tied with dead man's clothes. So it's not even any point grabbing you, but... Eh. I mean... Minor break risk, unhappy nudity, split, you're a dickhead. Um, split, can you craft? Can, not assigned to crafting. Uh, you're crap at it. But still. So, split. So I'm going to call him Jesus. Prioritize crafting at the crafting spot. Or not. Ah, oh, yes. Good now. It'll be shit, but it is what it is. Vector's gonna be pissed, but you know, get up, Vector, and talk to these people. Um. Okay, they're selling some very. Ooh, pardon me. Very interesting things, but none that I'm interested in, to be fair. So this has been pointless. Uh, cancel. Victor, you can go do what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, let's uh, haul urgently. Haul urgently. Haul urgently. So that'll all get done when needed. Did you finish making shit yet? Uh, not enough light. Aha. Right. Split. You made it. You were it. There we go. So we probably need to chop more wood. Chop, chop, chop. I suppose it's worthwhile chopping everything that's in our base. So if people do get in, there is nothing... Um, blocking or giving them cover. And likewise, not preventing us from getting cover. Go eat your meal, for God's sake. Vector, I would rather you prioritize burying this freak. B 
before it causes any sort of debuffs by seeing dead bodies and shit. We have cargo pods. A cluster of cargo pods, perhaps uh, you'll find something useful. May as well haul that urgently. It's insect jelly. Insect jelly is sort of the stuff you can get from the insects that randomly spawn inside of the mountain. And I would nearly be willing to get a mod that turns them off. They are by far the most annoying, frustrating, hateful thing ever added to this game. Um, it takes the whole point out of building into the mountain. Even what I'm doing here is risky because all of a sudden a nest could break out and poof. You know. Right. I was going to do something. We haven't got anybody growing. So split. That can be a three. That can be a two. That can be a one. Plant cut can be a two. Cleaning be a two. That'd be a three. And so we should get somebody growing. Which would be great. I mean, fucking fantastic. And furniture. We'll build a couple of beds up in this corner temporarily. And hopefully. That dead body's all the way up here. It'll probably rot long before we have to deal with it. What's the temperature like in here? Minus 4, 5. Perfect for now. Which I can't complain about. Split is sleeping in the cold. Of course he is. He's a dickhead. And I don't like that. I have lightning. I'm in a warm area. It is raining, but still. It's a rainy thunderstorm. Worst thing. Um, is the dry thunderstorm, especially in a place that's just full of trees and wood and flammable shit. Uh, we literally just have no wood to do things. I know I'm making a big massive floor, but you know, I like the floor. The floor's pretty. If Connor would stop failing. Be great. Fantastic. And there we go. Split is doing what we need to do. And we have a fire. Fire! Fire! Okay, we got Matthew out chopping some tree down, which we need right now because we are using up all of our wood. Made a break risk, got a split. What are you bitching about, you freak? Disturb sleep times for boo hoo. You're <coughs> you were chased by pirates. We welcomed you in. We fought them off. So what? You have to sleep on the floor for a bit. I mean, it's not as if we were expecting you. To be fair, such a whiny bitch. You have a fantastic name, but you're a whiny bitch. Not only that. Not only that. You don't do any violence. It's like, you know, please defend me, please, 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 because I can't defend myself. It's not that he can't, actually. It's that he won't. It's a bit ungrateful. So just plant, split. Plant, plant, and plant. So that's all you're good for. A friendly AA from your past named Charlene Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its world coordinates. Uh, the starship is currently in deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the startup sequence completes. If you get the ship off ground, Charlon will take you off this Rimworld to the stars. So this is one of the end game things they brought into Rimworld uh, a few uh, betas ago. Um, somewhere on the map, which we will jump to that location now, uh, in the Ice Camel Rainforest, a fantastic name, this is where uh, our ship is. But I am not sure how far away that is from us. We are in the Face Palm Mountains. Which is somewhere. Um so we need to get there. Could have swore I knew where we settled. There we go. So we're here, all the way here, 
and then all the way nearly opposite side of the world a bit down towards the south is our potential uh, skip route but anyway architect back to the colony at hand though we haven't installed a bunch of things consuming electrical products yet so our power is fine for now we're really just powering um, two coolers and the electric stove meals are at a decent level you have a bit of time left before you need to be hauled in. I should move all this stuff out here. So architect, uh, zone area, stockpile, basic stockpile there. Uh, let's click on this one. Uh, copy settings, the stockpile, paste settings, make you important. And we shall delete this stockpile. Um, low medicine, that's because there's no more medicine in our stockpile, but that's because I just deleted the stockpile. We still have the medicine, so we should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, finally, stuff is starting to get done. It's starting to lock a little bit, little bit cleaner. Since we've uh, evened this out, squared it up, putting some floors down, it's definitely starting to look nicer. Um, well, I am tempted to fire down another lamp here and one here just to brighten all this up a bit. And then we will have to, uh, I shall plan it actually, uh, orders, plan. So if we go from here, this is a three by three. 3x3 three three. There all my citizens get the most comfortable awesome houses ever in the history of ever uh, Because I love them so much 3 3 3 Oh, is this gonna work? See That's not gonna work Ah well What we could do actually let's turn that into a five by five so if I do this structure wall that down yeah that'll do fine that'll give us another one two three four five six seven rooms and this one here can be turned either into a, like a slightly nicer prisoner room slash throw a couple of med medical beds in there and yeah we still have the rest of this to utilize maybe we can if we want to put in some five by five rooms or um a multitude of things we can do to be fair let's haul those potatoes in as soon as we can and is everybody signed to their proper jobs? Yes, restricting, nobody's got any funny. No, nope. everything seems to go along and split still doesn't have a bed. Whoopsie. But yeah, five colonists so far. First of August, that's my favorite terminology for a time of the year. So we have April, May, August, September and December, or December, December, I don't know, shush, uh, planting's done, so yeah, sometimes at the start all it just needs is that one or two extra people to get things ticking, um, it's probably about time we got some more mining assigned, so we can do that, remove the plans, so we get some steel once Matthew gets down that length. Bunch of wood now to complete everything. Once Connor can get round to it. He is quite busy at the moment. So we have a couple of beds there now. See this shit? Uh, don't haul urgently, but I want you to be marked for 
calling. Uh, yeah, this one you use hold. Anything that's inside of one hold. Red. A group of tribespeople from the green caribou Latra have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. So, Abanero. Ab yeah, Anario. Shortbow. No armor. He's attacking immediately. He'll come from this direction. Um, so, let's get. E3. Hold on. What do you have? You have the rifle, pistol, pistol, bow, and you are shit. Um, I'm gonna draft you, get you all here, because he'll have to come through this direction. He'll probably hide behind a tree or something. He's a dick. Um, that's okay, Matthew. You can come over here, like a good lad. And yeah, we should be able to deal with this guy pretty okay. But if I take a bunch of entries because of this, I swear to God. Really. His bow is outranging none but the rifle. You know what? You know what? You know what? Connor, you can get up to it. Uh, no, don't equip the wood. You can get up to there, Matthew, up to here. JP, uh, there, I suppose, or something. Don't shoot each other. Just need to concentrate to fire so that something stupid doesn't happen like this guy gets a headshot with his goddamn bow. There we go. Uh, we can now ungrab you guys. Covert strip. You can not equip the short bow. Unforbid. Matthew, can you please haul the short bow? Good. That's all I wanted. It's nothing crazy. I just wanted you to haul the damn fucking short bow. Um, Victor, I'll wait till you're finished eating. Right in the middle of nowhere and you can prioritize burying this little person. 17 year old Victor. He will get things done alright. He's a good lad. I have faith in him. Get a couple of these rooms. Oh, it would be perfect if you get all of these finished. Oh, a warrior from the Purple Grouse is, <laughs> is passing by. His name is Gorar Landoa Landoa. Well, good for him. Can we re, re uninstall? Reinstall at this location. So, and then I want you to reinstall here. And then you can be reinstalled in this one. There'll be three more rooms on the go. I won't floor any of these until we have the actual walls of all of them done. And beds in each and them assigned for their various little tasks that I'm going to be using them for. JP has got food poisoning from a fine meal. Not the simple meals you know that are just thrown together. One of the fine ones that he probably cooked himself. Fucking tortoise. Right, hold on. Where is it that I... It's been so long. Oh, research. That's what I need to get doing. Whoops. Uh... Ah, it's this. I want you to attack and oh split you can just run away you big freak uh, you can you can attack oh my god what and I need to get some sort of tailoring on the go soon as well such as uh, getting some cowboy hats and just general things to maybe help deal with temperature fluctuations. We're never going to really have too low a temperature here, so we don't need anything like parkas or any of that nonsense, but we will need stuff to help us combat heat waves, um, which is always fun. So to that end, just temporarily, I'm going to look at putting in a electric tailor bench. Are you going to be able to reach the power? Probably not. 
We can do that there, though. You know what? You can actually do it there. That's fine. It's fine and dandy. Yeah, we fended off a couple of attacks. Why are y'all getting food poison from the fine meal? Stop eating them then. Like, oh, JP, you don't, don't, look, don't look so well. Um, what's wrong? Oh, I think I got food poisoning from the fine meals. Oh, shit, man, that sucks. Uh, give us one of those fine meals there. Fucking idiots. We are full speed. Things are happening. Being done. Running out of meat, so we'll probably have to sign a few more things to be uh, hunted. And to be fair, we're actually going to wrap up very shortly. I'm just going to sign a few more jobs and then talk nonsense for a minute or two. So yeah, first live stream. Um, it's gone okay-ish. We had the audio issue at the start. Um, which, again, it was to be expected, to be fair. I know I'm pretty amazing, but I wasn't going to hit it out of the bag in the first, uh, first attempt. But we amended that during the break. Well, I hope it was amended anyway. And, yeah, I intend to make this a weekly thing. Um, 8pm to roughly 10pm every Tuesday. And for now and for the foreseeable future, it will be RimWorld. It's been a long time since I got to play it. As the first time with the latest updates since before Christmas. Um, other games that I'll end up live streaming are things like Dwarf Fortress, um, maybe things like Hearts of Iron, uh, some of the Total War games. Generally, things that would take up a big bulk of time to play um, and things that I can't fit onto my YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out that as well. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, then you know, you already know where it is. But uh, for those of you who don't, it's just the Panda Watcher. Same as here on Twitch. So, yeah. This has been RimWorld. Um, and I'm going to head off. So, please, 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 go away. Until next time, folks, good luck and goodbye.